a walking, talking Christmas tree, creating quite a stir it did at the Staten Island Ferry Terminal right here in New York City. Check it out. From. Who's inside there? The guy in the costume. What's his message? Self-proclaimed political artist Scott Lebedo joins us live right here in the studio. I had to meet you because I saw the video at the terminal. Why did you do this, Scott? Listen, it's this tidal wave of political correctness that is destroying everything traditional about America that is sweeping the nation. And I, as an artist uh, and a patriot, I'm against it. I think it's horrible. I think it's really hurting this country. And this is just another example that the Department of Transportation decides that of the many years we've had Christmas and Hanukkah decorations that they're not going to do it. It's, uh, it's, we might get lawsuits. It's my, my safety issues. And I know that's a crock. So <laughs> I said, I'm bringing a Christmas tree there. Yeah. How'd you get around the rules? Because they, they, the Department of Transportation, you said, said no decorations <laughs> this year, and you got in the building, you were able to walk around. Yeah. Well, being an artist is not yeah. just to paint Easy. well yeah. or sculpt well. You have Turn to be able on. to display it, uh, your art the proper way. And I went around and called my attorney, my friend, who's my defense attorney, <laughs> and I said, is this the right thing to do? And he said, absolutely. I'm mobile. I'm wearing a suit. I'm wearing a jacket. This is what I'm wearing today. This is what I decided to wear today. So they couldn't do anything. What was the reaction of the folks in it the It was terminal? exactly the way it was supposed to be, just when Christmas decorations and holiday decorations are there. Everyone smiled. Everyone laughed. A little extra, I guess, because the Christmas tree jumped up and started following people around and saying Merry Christmas. But people said Merry Christmas. That's the problem. Everyone's afraid to say Merry Christmas. God bless America. Let's not be afraid of this. You know, as Captain Perry said it best. You know, in the Battle of Lake Erie, don't give Woo! up the ship, and we cannot give up the ship. There's a battle going on here in America. You know, we have enemies abroad, and God bless and welcome home to our troops. Sure. But this is a battle we have right here, and I'm going to use my gift of, you know. We appreciate it. i got to tell you, you, you build a heck of a tree. So <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, and thanks for telling us your story. I wonder if they'll reconsider the policy next year now. Well, if not, I'll be back again next year. <laughs> All right. Fair I'm warning. Walking around in the Christmas. Thank you, know, you, Scott. Know, nice what? to meet you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry what happens in this country when the Christmas trees need a defense attorney? You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about that? Thank you. Nice to meet you. Coming up, pitching a rock.